Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Softro India. Today uh, we're going to be discuss about the new full stack technology that is called MON. So basically, first I want to introduce myself. Um, I'm Purushottam Sina. I'm from Softro India. I have invited here as a guest to introduce about this technology, which is a MON, and what is the advantage and why we going to be use this and what is the advantage of this month and why you should go with this month and what you going to be learn in this month. So everything we are going to be discuss in this particular sessions. So let's say moving forward with the next slides and uh, today we are going to be discuss like uh, the slides about like what know your consultant right who is going to be teach you or what is I have expertise and expertise in that so that we are going to be discussed here now. So let's I introduce myself. I have total complete IT experience around 16 plus. Currently I'm working as, as a mentor you can say in the corporate as well as I'm the lead architectures, right? The project lead as well and architect as well in my company. Uh, I have expertise into the microservices, Java, JWE framework, React, Kafka, DevOps. These all are I'm using in my uh, applications. And uh, these are the some of the points which I am going to explain myself. I have worked all the various of MNCs, uh, you know, right? Bipro, Infosys, Cognizant, and IT. These all are my uh, clients, or you can say my company where I have worked on and I have delivered IT session into it. And uh, I'm I'm just talking about myself, right? What I'm regularly touched with all the modern technology which is in the common market. Why? Because you know, right? In the market. It's required a new concept, right? The new technology implementation. So every time I'm 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 upgrading myself with the trending technology in the world, and also I have worked with the lot of various domain in in the market, like the BFSI that is banking, finance, telecommunication, insurance, retail, e-commerce domain, which I have worked on. Worked on means I have implemented project in US and Java and cloud certification I have, right? So this is my expertise, which I am I'm going to be uh, like share with you guys as well. Like why these experience, like whatever experience I have, I'm going to be share with you, which helps you to build your career into that too, right? So today I'm going to be discuss about the MON. MON is the another a new technology concept, right? The full stack concepts in the market now. My you guys have heard about this, right? The Java full stack the Python full stack, the mean and MON concepts. So we are talking about here the MON concepts. What is MON? Why we should go with the MON? How it is beneficial for you? And how, what kind of application that is going to be MON inside it, right? So let's I go with the first, what is the MON? So I'm going by the one by one. First, which is called N, that is called Node.js, right? That is called Node. And when you talk about the nodes, so again, row node is having uh, all kind of this, right? There is the back like front end API, like there is the web development API that is called Node.js. Node.js, they internally having Express.js. Express.js is kind of web framework of the node and internally they are using REST API as well. That is called the web development API. And now we have a React, which is a front end development tool which you gonna be used as a front end library, which you developing a client side application, which is a single application page, you can say the React. A React is actually a Java library, right? JavaScript library that we gonna use as a front end. And then we have a like cloud deployment too, and MongoDB, and then we have a DevOps, right? So MongoDB again, it's your, the database, right? Which you know SQL database, you can say. So if you're talking about the whole MON, so N for the node, R for React, E for Express, and M for the Mongo. So these all are combination of the MON technology, right? So the, my next slide is going to be explained what is the MON actually, right? What is the MON stack? So the MON is the pre-built technology stack, which is based on the JavaScript technology. Why I'm saying this, what is it? It's complete technology MON is based on the Java technology, JavaScript technology. 
Why I'm saying is because man all these concepts, Mongo, Express, React, and Nodes, everything is based on the JavaScript. Why? Node.js is actually a runtime environment. It's generate a runtime environment which is a part of the JavaScript engine. It's actually create a runtime environment which is based on the JavaScript. React.js is the JavaScript framework. It's a library, JavaScript library. Express.js which is built in on inside built in built in on the Node.js, which is the web framework of the Node.js. And Node.js is working on the JavaScript. And MongoDB is the documental based database. It's a NoSQL database, and it is representing data in the JSON mode. And when you talk about the JSON, JSON is a JavaScript object concept which we are using in the curly braces like that, right? So the whole all R is centric with the JavaScript. So this whole MERN stack, we are going to be used in the terms of JavaScript. So it is more beneficial, it's more advantages when you're going to be make this kind of application which is using a MERN technology, it's the best for you. Because everything on the JavaScript platform, that means your performance get high. In, in that cases, when you're deploying your application in the MERN stack, so your application performance will be high rather than any other the technology, right? So we talking about what is the Mongo, right? I, I told you that the Mongo is the non-relational non database that is your NoSQL. So the NoSQL data is what? It's, it's, it's not containing any row and another row and column database, right? They have no table structure. There is no row and column architecture. It's actually a document based database, right? And we are using uh, to store the data in the form of the document, not in the table format data, right? There is no row column combination. So you can see here, it's an example to storing the data here, right? So this is the database. That is the one example I can say. The, this, this way you can store the data. The curly braces you can see, right? So that is the your column name. Name is, these all are the holding the data. These are the data, right? So the key value pair. Kind of the key value pair we are using to store the data. When you're storing the data, which represented by in the document format in like this way. So this is the document, right? It's it's document you can un understood in terms of the relational, it will treat as a table. But here it will treat as a document. So it is containing the data, right? The username, there is a column and their value is this. Similarly, the contact, the address, these all are the different kind of the table. If you relate to the relational, it will treat as a table. But here it will treat as a document kind, right? So RDBMS, which is using a Mongo in the MERN and it is basically used for your connectivity in the concept, right? So now here, this concepts like when you are using this representation, this is called JSON and JSON is a JavaScript object, right? So again, MongoDB is working under the JavaScript concepts only, right? Another when we talking about the Node.js, so Node.js, it is saying it's an open source, cross-platform, JavaScript runtime environment. It is what? It's not a technology. Node.js is not technology. It's not programming. It's a runtime environment. It generate runtime environment where the program can execute it, right? So the Node.js also will be used as a concept of what? It's a non-blocking IO. It's an asynchronous document you can work. So non-blocking, asynchronous, that means you can cannot not holding that like your background work you allowing it right multiple tasks can work and execute right so node.js is actually creating yours what it's a runtime environment where your programs can execute it so when you're talking about the mon so the mon use node.js environment to executing all kind of the applications right for your background download your internet applications everything they are using in the node architecture so node basically what it's running, you know, right, that when you talk about the JavaScript, JavaScript running on the VT machine, it's actually running JavaScript run on your JavaScript engine. So JavaScript engines, which is called as V8 engine, which is a Chrome, it's, it's developed by inside the Chrome, you will get the V8 engine where your program JavaScript engine goes to the like V8 engine and then it will run inside the browser. They, they have a lot of like their execution completely different about like JavaScript when you talk. But the Node.js are using that V8 is machine only because it's a part of the JavaScript only. So V8 machine we can use 
and then we are using this OS operation to building the Node.js and this is the complete library, right? And the Libio is kind of the another tool which is developed on the C programming and they're providing asynchronous non-blocking IO concepts, right? And then we use the whole, uh, this event loop and the non-threading pools and, and everything they use internally to run your Node.js application. So, what I'm trying to say is, the Node.js is actually a runtime environment. It will generate where your program get executed. Internally, they use JavaScript engine to execute their program and they have used non-blocking IO concepts. So in this, you will gonna be learn like what is non-blocking, what is asynchronous task, how it will execute, what is the benefit of this. So that's the node programming will tell you, right? And which we're going to be learn inside this month. And it's a more advantage over here, right? To learn this. What is ExpressJS? So ExpressJS I'm talking about, it is a, like your client server architectures. So when you're going to be work on the internet application, right? So you should have a client and you should have a response, like the, your server. So client will send HTTP request and then your HTTP response back to the client, right? So this ExpressJS is having those kind of the feature where you can send the request, HTTP request, and then you will get the response back from the server. So ExpressJS is the Bay framework which can accept the HTTP request and that corresponding request, he will get the response from the, from the ExpressJS itself. So this is the architecture where the request can work. So there you can sell multiple Express and ExpressJS internally connect with your MongoDB and then he get the data from there. So this is the whole architecture about the ExpressJS. It is the Bay framework. Now the list is about the ReactJS. So ReactJS is simply about, it's, it's a, it's a it's your client side application, right? Where you working as a single page application, SPA. And it's a library of the JavaScript where you can build your, like your more graphical user interface. You can develop through this. And here, this is concepts building on the, your regex, the JavaScript code can use ESX. And then it is based on the component, right? It's the React is basing on the component. Component says what? Just like when you talk any of the web pages, you can see, right, the header, that footer, that body, right, their message, it can change, the left, uh, left panel, right panel, there will be there. So these all are called as a component. So you are developing a component, right? So in, inside the React programming. And the React is more popular in these days and more demanding in these days and it is using a lot all the corporates right so inside it you gonna be see right like you why why i go through this because it's a javascript internally it is based on the javascript library the whole thing you say right it's often simply called react and it is a java javascript library used to building a rich ui interface again i'm talking about again it is a javascript right so React is the UI, developing your UI application, which is based on the JavaScript itself. So the whole thing is what, it is actually working on the virtual DOM. Yeah, I think you, if you know about DOMs, right? So JavaScript, when you go through, that is called the DOMs. DOMs is called document object model, which is running inside your browser itself. So this whole concepts, React concepts working on the DOMs only. A DOMs, nothing this is related to your it's a context inside the browser, which can update your components whenever you fire any event, right? So this React is a single page application, which is built on the JavaScript, and that's going to be used inside your applications, right? So now when you talk about this whole architecture of the Mon project, it will look like that, right? Here will be your UI interface which is developed on the React. Here also you can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all bootstrap and everything. That will be your front end. You send the request on a server side, which is built on the Node.js, the top of our Express.js. So this will be used. So internally you will use controller. Controller have a router concepts, which is routing the request and all. Then have a models. Model is basically what? they containing requests and response and everything, right? And then the models are communicating with you the backend that is called your MongoDB database. So 
to storing the data, retrieving the data and, and all concepts. So object document model they are using it here that is completely back end. This is the database, right? And then corresponding he returns the response and response go up to again the Express.js and that response return back to the your React where display the data on the on the client side. So this is the whole architecture about your applications, right? So when I talking about when you are going to be develop this project, so your front end will be your React where your dashboard home page you design it the back end is all about your node.js where your apis get developed and that api will connecting with your database and that database you can store update delete all these functions for a corresponding you will get the response and that here comes so my objective is what we going to be learn this month this whole implementation and this implementation actually required in your real life right like in in, in the real life also and the corporate are looking for that too. So if you want to learn this whole concepts, so please connect with here. We're going to be teach you this all architecture, the same architecture we're going to be implement the projects too. And that is required in, in the corporate life too, right? So when you're going to be work on the project in the, any of the corporates, the whole architecture is required. So I hope I'm clear with these all concepts, all things. So please go through this one. If you want to join the session, if you join to any of the query, please connect with the SPI that is Software India and we clear all those queries, right? So please connect here. Thank you so much to joining or listening to me. And if you have any query, please reach out to Software India. We are here to help you to clear all the doubts develop this burn stack right and we help you to teach understand that all these concepts about the technology thank you so much dear to listening me bye bye take care